welcome home. We are in New York City in my apartment where I have lived with Bobby for 18 years. And about nine months ago, Bobby passed from cancer that he has been suffering with for seven years. Hopefully, Bobby's been talking to Tyler so he knows who Bobby is. Okay, oh, welcome. Well, this was fun. We got to play some tennis. We so did. We How do you feel? I feel good. I feel like I've had a workout. So today's the first reading since Bobby's passing that I've had, really because I don't think I was ready for one. There are things that only he and I know. I have my notepad, so basically you'll see throughout the duration of this, I'll be scribbling. I am the proud mommy of a beautiful daughter named Allison. My sister and Allison are the two closest people to me in my life. My job is to be specific and to be able to bring forward validations and details that you know, that your family knows, information that's not out there in the public. And that's really obviously what I strive for, especially in situations with public figures. Bobby's passing was very public, and I think that the way to keep him alive is through talking about him. So I'm all in. I see you do have some objects here. Looks like there's a ton. Um, it looks bigger than it is because it's a big blanket. Okay, cool. <laughs> so okay. it's taking up most of the room. So don't be overwhelmed by the box. It's a little oh, scary. No worries. Okay, so I made this with my own two hands, and I know nobody would believe me, That's right? That's amazing. And then I ended it about a week before Bobby died, and wow. I let him sleep with this. That's because cool. he slept with the last week awesome. of his life. And don't tell me too much about the objects. I think you can probably guess who this is. Probably it would have been a, a very aggressive grandmother. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it belonged to my dog. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Here's his briefcase. OK, fabulous. So yeah. he had his business cards oh. all wrapped in rubber bands. And a bag of keys if you want those. Let's I think that this. covers that. Yeah. Um, picture of him. We have options. This is one of us. I didn't know if you, which one you'd prefer. Sure. I found this picture. I don't even know where. Yeah. Someone's house and I had a frame. So not to leave my dad out. This is my father's mother. Yeah. Yeah. Mom. Yes. This What's is wrong? never going to start. <laughs> she is going to talk forever. Oh. I'm very sorry. It's okay. Don't, don't, don't. Um, wait, wait. I'm wearing let... his watch. Yeah. And I'm wearing his ring. But the ring he gave me, yes. and I haven't worn it since he died. No worries. Mom, let Tyler. Do the I know, talk. but I, well, he wants the objects. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Thank you. I love you. Fabulous. All right. Well, we'll see if anything comes in. And Good luck. We've Get got lost. plenty of objects to work with. All Get right. lost. <clears throat> so as I go through this, I'll do the majority of the talking. I'll just communicate everything that I see, hear, and feel, and we'll go from there. I don't think uh, Tyler knew what he was getting himself into. <laughs> and we'll meditate. Let's see what comes in. They're bringing me to this object, which I'm going to touch. Um, I feel like they're having me talk about, uh, I keep getting a reference to a Helen or an Ellen sounding name, and they're showing me this little chihuahua, like a little nugget. <laughs> Do you know of anyone who's lost like a chihuahua or like a, a dog of that kind of breed? I lost my chihuahua two weeks ago. Oh. And that was her toy. And Helen is my grandmother. Check and see on, so on the grandma side of things, just really quickly with the Helen reference. Check and see if there's any memories of a little child being at the wheel of a car. That's 100% true. It's a weird thing. I, I'm not seeing a child driving necessarily, but I'm seeing a child at the wheel of a car. OK, all right, I know what this is. <laughs> OK, the only thing I can think of, Tyler, is that I was behind the wheel of the car yeah. on the when I was about four years old yep. on the driveway. Yep. My mother was unloading the packages and left me. Uh -huh. And I was behind the wheel of the car and it slid in the back. Oh. And the entire car went back the driveway. Right. And I remember everyone freaking out. Right, right. And rescuing me and stopping the car. Wow. You never told me that story. That's never. Fascinating. You don't know that story. Wow. Fascinating. I do feel do like you think that that's what it is? You I do. think it's like my father in a car years no. ago when he was a kid? It's definitely like a reference of a kid being at like I was at the, the wheel, wheel of the car. Of a car. I can remember it like yesterday. Absolutely. Well, right now go away. We'll see it if definitely else happened. Through. Awesome. No worries. So yeah. They're immediately having me jump into this, and when it comes to Bobby, uh, there's kind of a reference of wanting to discuss some like family dynamic. He versus focusing on himself is focused more on the family and what would have happened before his passing and after his passing. He wants to make sure everyone else is good. He's not really focused on himself. She is having me talk about these three. He's referencing to kids, and I'm a little confused because he's referencing to three, but then he keeps adding a fourth, and it keeps switching between three to four, three to four, three to four. Wow. So do you know what Do that you know how many kids Bobby had? No clue. I don't think anybody. Oh, my god. No one's going to believe this. So Bobby has three children, and I'm the fourth. Allison would be the fourth. Gotcha. 
They're bringing this up and I feel like I have to talk about this dynamic. He's very clearly wanting to acknowledge Allie in a very like loving way, almost like you are like a daughter to me is the way that I would describe this. So he's wanting her to have that validation that she was wow. important just as any other biological child would be. Allie must be freaking out right now. Wow. Sometimes the three siblings, you know, without meaning to, would leave her out. She's younger than them. She didn't grow up in the house with them. I don't think it's purposefully hurtful, but nevertheless hurtful. So that was a really important message. There's a lot coming through. And there's um, a lot to come through. Yeah. I can't, I'm like gonna die right now. <laughs> well, if you do, you can still come through. Thank you. <laughs> He's having me talk about the last like two years of his life. It's more than appreciation. He didn't want to in any way feel like he was holding you back. And then he's like, well, this is our new normal. And I don't want this to have to be our new normal forever. I said to him, this will be our new normal. We'll be OK. So you not being able to walk or whatever, that's our new normal. I actually said the words, this is our new normal. He didn't want to hold you down. He didn't want to restrict you because there's this feeling of like, now she doesn't have to worry about me. Now she can live her own life. And he wanted nothing more than for you to be able to do that. And that's very important. He wanted you to be able to have this next chapter in your life after he passed. And he actually almost is putting a sense of excitement as hard as it is for him to have passed. For him, it's like he's excited for you. It was very, very tough at the end. And he knew that. And he never wanted to be a burden on anyone. Like, it's been five minutes, and this is already more than I thought would happen. There's no way you could know this. Not even the housewives know a lot of this. Gotcha. You are so exactly right. Everything you've said exactly awesome. has happened. We'll connect those dots. Yeah. So there are semesters that are coming through, and this is oriented around Bobby. Some of these you may know, others you may not, and it might be messages for other family. So I want us to kind of all keep this in mind. He's, for some reason, having me acknowledge that there were a ton of quote unquote memorials. There, people memorialized him in a million ways. And I'm seeing like not just one, not just two, but like literally entire groups of people like honored him in separate ways. But there's something about a send off. You know when sun hits the water and it kind of like shimmers and yes. gives like that look? Listens. Yeah, someone did something right by water as kind of almost like a send off to him in some way. So it's not an ocean. I got that one. What is I it? Don't. I got it. I know that one. Tell me. Yes, she is. OK. <laughs> The vault. This was a big deal. Yes. What? OK, can I have the chair? Because yeah. I can't sit in yeah. here. She's got the dog. Okay. I love it. It's OK to have the dog. I can't help the dog. You Bobby know, I have didn't to hold the dogs. Dog. It's a thing. Oh. Jill gave Bobby a send off when he was alive and told him it was his living funeral on the water in the Hamptons. I did not. Where? What are you talking about? The party. What party? My mom has a very bad memory. So it's good me and my Aunt Lisa are here to help. Jill runs an annual summer party at the Hamptons. It's right. a big deal. OK, yes. Gotcha. And Bobby was sick in July. Right. Right. And you brought him there. You videoed it. Everyone there was there to say goodbye to Bobby. That You made yes. it the send-off. You actually called it the send-off. I did. I don't know. Where did and this it was happen? on the water. I lived on the water. But I had it a didn't, house on the water. It didn't feel like the ocean, though. It wasn't, no, it wasn't the, the ocean. ocean. It was the bay. Oh, OK, well, there you go. <laughs> I didn't amazing. even think of it that way. And it does glisten, and the it water glistens. Just, it was just like if you I just showed described you the picture, it. you can't oh, believe it. I exactly didn't even think right. of that. Thank you for You're the validation. Welcome. I appreciate it. Wow. <laughs> she's completely right. That's helpful. But I didn't obviously didn't see that. That's okay. At all. And she's right. I did tell everyone it was his like living funeral. There really is a feeling of like deep appreciation for that. I he feel like so it. much of he this. You got is to a, say goodbye to everybody. Exactly. People he wasn't normally say goodbye to. Yeah. I mean he didn't say goodbye, but you know. Oh wow. So go and see, because this just came through. Check and see. After he passed, I'm, I'm hearing his voice and it's in an audio form. There's a feeling of like finding a recording of Bobby. Either a voicemail that plays, a voicemail that comes up that we didn't know we had, and then someone finds this. So I just need you to know this. I don't know what this is, but it's after, for sure after he passes. I recorded him. Did you? Yeah. Really? Is she gonna remember? It doesn't feel for you as much as it feels for family. So, well, I just want you I to know. I have to ask his kids. Maybe they found something on their phone, a message. It's Mom, like a surprise. Never said, oh, no. Uh oh. You happened to you? Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't. Get out of here. Come on in. Sit in the chair. You're the worst. Oh. I have the worst memory. It's okay. You. There what is happens? this app on your phone. Yes. StoryCorps. Yeah. You can record. What do I have? I did it. What did you, you were do? In the hospital. Yeah. 
when he was still there, but he was going. It was in the fall, and I, I came home. It was exactly your girlfriend's birthday when he was really sick in the hospital. And I was like, this is the time. Because we kept pushing it off and pushing it off. I wanted to ask him questions. Right. And I've been too afraid to listen to it since you were there. Yes, I do remember I it. I recorded it, just the audio, which you wouldn't expect. It was just audio, and I haven't opened it. Wow. We recorded, like, Where eight is questions it? on my phone. Oh, you have it? Yeah. Interesting. I didn't forget about it, but I haven't wanted to play it. Play it, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to hear it. December 20th, 2017. He died on January 13th. Oh my God, this is gonna make us all cry. Can you tell me a little bit about your childhood and what were you like as a child? My mother didn't drive, and so she Why never drive? Car. She was scared to drive. So I was pretty much isolated. Whatever I had to do, I had to do on my own. So I had my dog, Ginger. And that was the first Ginger. He had a dog, Ginger. What kind of dog, Bobby? It was a uh, German Shepherd. How old did she live to? 18. Wow. So the other ginger is on its way. <laughs> okay. He sounded good this summer. She was so active and so, and so full of life. He did. Yeah. Wow. And I know how intimate that is. No, it's great. Oh, I yeah. feel like he's here. Thank you. For Thanks, that. Alec. I just want you to know, I mean, in the way he comes across, so much of this is about him knowing he's still honored and his life good. still continues in a big way. Good. How we honor him, how we continue to c carry his legacy. There's no question Bobby was here and that he wants me to be happy. So I don't want to get for Clint. No, I didn't expect to cry. <laughs> that I didn't expect. I didn't even cry at the funeral. Crazy. I want you to know in the way this comes through, I really feel here from him is <laughs> he's telling me that he wants you to know that he doesn't want you to be alone. <laughs> and that basically he didn't want you to have to, when he passed away, spend your entire life alone. He viewed it as a new chapter and he wanted you after he passed to make sure that you were with somebody because he needed to make sure that someone okay. had your back and was looking out for you. Unbelievable. First of all, the word chapter that you referred to was something we talked about a lot. Bobby taught me that life is like a book. Bobby's telling mm. you to tell me that the yeah. chapter is over of so, Bobby yeah. and that the new chapter begins. And it has. I mean, I'm dating and I have somebody in my life and I'm very happy and I want to know if Bobby's okay with it. And you just told me. I didn't want to ask you. Yeah. And those questions that we have that we carry with us, our loved ones know what they are. Does he like him? Oh, know. of course. He wouldn't Does have he came like forward him? and been like, yeah, move on to that him. next chapter if yeah. he didn't. No, so. no, no. I know yeah. he would. I know totally. he's, he's exactly who Bobby would have picked for me. Absolutely. No, I, amazing thing. Even for him as well, that's admirable because there was no jealousy there. He was no. willing to, he wanted you, he put your needs first. Always way. did. And what a gift. That was the marriage we had. It was an incredible marriage. He acknowledged that the love that you two shared, that that's a love that some people live their entire lives never coming close to getting, even once. And that is so true. And Tyler, you, you two were able to spend the time that you had together, and that love was there. And Thank for you. him, that fulfills lifetimes. Lifetimes. And I want you to know that as you continue this, like he's gonna be there with you and he wants to have these new experiences because you're letting him have new experiences too through it. He's never far from you. Bobby knew I needed to have that permission from him, that he wanted me to move on, that he didn't want me to be sad. He didn't want me to be alone. He knew I didn't do well alone. I'm so glad we were able to do this today. Thank you so much, Tyler. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, we're still I so love good. you. Wow, am I overwhelmed. Um, he didn't miss one thing. Wow. Next time, you'll beat me. Oh, you are precious. I don't know about that, but All I'll right, see you next well, time. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Jill. Tyler. Bye. <laughs> it's an honor that Jill trusted me enough to connect to her departed husband, someone she loved so deeply and was so connected to. The ultimate goal of every reading is to help that person, to leave someone better than I found them, and to show that at the end of the day, we all experience the same loss and have the same needs.